Hey guys, I'm Melky and welcome back to my channel. But first things first, a chapter from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People taught me how to prioritize. This is one of the books that has been modified to suit all ages. There's a teens and adults version. So if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend you grab a copy and start reading as it has impacted the lives of millions around the world, including mine. But first things first is all about prioritizing and managing your time. It's more to this habit than just time management. It deals with learning to overcome our fears and to stay strong during hard moments. Get where you want to go don't let roadblocks knock you off course. Stephen Covey talks about two primary ingredients, importance and urgency. Important. Your most important things, your first things, activities that contribute to your mission and your goals. Urgent. Pressing things, in your face things, activities that demand immediate attention. Urgent things aren't necessarily bad, but the problem comes when we become focused on urgent things that we put off important things that aren't urgent. The procrastinators fall in quadrant one of Covey's time matrix. Like we put off doing our homework, attending to assignments that are due, and then we cram all night for a test. You won't work on a paper or study for a test until the night before. If you're spending too much time in quadrant one, you will always be stressed and will seldom perform to your potential. The procrastinator is addicted to urgency. You like to put things off and put things off until it becomes a crisis. But you like doing it that way because you feel like doing everything at the last moment gives you a rush and your mind won't kick into gear until there is an emergency. You always thrive under pressure and planning ahead is just simply out of question. Many high schoolers think it's pretty cool not studying all semester and then cramming the night before and pulling out a good grade. Now, sure, you got the grade, but you didn't learn a thing and you will struggle in college and life. Procrastinators are doing things which are urgent and they're under crisis. They're always searching for shortcuts in everything they do. They are looking for an easy way, the way where things will just come to us and we don't have to go out and work. Success isn't easy. Success isn't ordinary. We have to develop self-discipline to get ourselves to do things we don't want to do. Doing things we don't feel like doing isn't as hard as we think we know when we know how to think the right way. The things that seem easy in the short term become harder in the long run because we procrastinate. If you can wipe out procrastination and distraction, it can change the course of your career and trajectory for the rest of your life. Now, what really separates top performers from average performers? I have yet to read about a single successful person who did not achieve their dream without paying a price, without sacrifice, without self-discipline. Don't you have a certain natural talent? Aren't there some passions you were born with? Yes, we all have them, but are we really using them? Our procrastination mindset makes it so difficult to work, get ahead, and make a difference. Rory Vaden talks about three types of procrastination in his book, Take the Stairs. In the next few weeks, Let's look more into detail about the three types of procrastination. Bye for now and see you next week.